and welcome back to my channel it is your girl jasmine destine if you are new here if you're returning hey girl what's up what's good what's goody we are back with a new hair install video today's video is actually sponsored by curls queen shout out to them for sending me these gorgeous clip-in extensions that i installed today in this video if you guys are excited then make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up down below stop what you're doing and smash the like button because my hair came out real cute i feel like a little southern belle if you guys want to see how i achieved this hairstyle then make sure you keep watching don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications i love you guys so much and let's just get right into this video okay so we're starting out this install video with actually my wash day routine because it is time for me to wash my hair um i actually had a wig on for like probably a week and my hair was braided down so i got a lot of product buildup got some dandruff going on dry scalp itchy scalp i'll be working out so it's definitely time to wash my hair so i figured i just go through my wash day routine really quickly with you guys but i'm gonna start off by wetting my hair of course running it under the hot steamy water um just making sure that i get every section of my hair wet i have a lot of hair on my head um i have really I wouldn't say my hair is like super thick, but I definitely would put it in the thick category and I just got a lot of hair on my head. So if I don't like part my hair um, down the middle and across every which way to get the water in, my scalp will be dry in the center of my head, which is kind of crazy. Um, so then I go in with my shampoo. I'm using the Aussie shampoo. I decided to pick this one up because I love the conditioner, which I will be using the deep conditioner. And I was like, you know what? Let me try out the shampoo. Maybe the shampoo will be really good too. And I like the shampoo. It was like a clarifying shampoo. Um, so I do feel like it really like cleaned my scalp super well. I will say like for me being like someone with dry skin and overall just a dry scalp, my hair still gets really oily. And I think that's just the porosity of my hair, curly hair in general, but specifically my hair just gets really oily. So I do have to make sure that I'm like really cleaning my scalp because after a couple of days, I will get a lot of buildup, and I want to make sure before I go in with these cute clip-ins that I'm about to install that my hair is like really clean, my scalp is really clean because I'm going to be parting it all over, of course. And I just want to make sure that I don't have any product buildup, so I'm just really scrubbing and massaging and exfoliating my scalp. I use my fingernails. I really massage my scalp. This is also really good for promoting hair growth, stimulating those hair follicles, all of that stuff, of course. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna rinse out my shampoo and my hair. Going back in and I'm exfoliating and scrubbing my scalp because it's just like really imperative. And honestly, it just feels so good, obviously. Like, honestly, it just feels so good. So <laughs> make sure you guys are doing that when you're in the shower washing your hair squeeze out any excess water and then i'm gonna go in with that deep conditioner that i was talking about earlier from aussie the three minute moisture this stuff literally like all claims made are all factual deep conditioning super hydrating super moisturizing in three minutes i literally leave it on for like 10 but honestly after three minutes you can go in with a comb or a detangling brush and it the job is just so much easier but before i go in with my detangling brush i do like to finger detangle as i'm applying it to my hair this allows me to get the product all over my scalp from root to tip um, and then i go in with my denim brush and i just brush out any more knots that might be there that i couldn't get with my fingers but this also helps with me not having to pull on my hair so much with the brush because I finger detangled first, which I would highly recommend. If that's something that you don't do, I would definitely recommend trying that. So just brushing from the tip of my hair all the way up to my roots. I kind of start in the middle and then do the ends and then go back up to the top and follow through all the way down. Um, I just have always detangled my hair in the shower. I've always done it this way. I've always used this brush. Like this is, this is, I'm not new to this, okay? I'm true to this, I'm not new to this. So 
going in and I let that sit for about 10 minutes and then while I washed up and did my other things in the shower and then I'm going to rinse out what you see me doing here. Look at the shine. This product just gives my hair so much moisture, so much healthy shine. It feels so soft. It smells so good. Like I literally, I've used this probably in the last three or four, you know, wash day routines, self-care routines. I swear about this, swear by this product. Okay, so we're out of the shower and I'm just gonna go in and apply some oil to my scalp before I blow dry my hair. So I'm gonna be doing a quick little blowout to apply these clip-ins, of course, because I want them to blend really well with my hair. And you guys already saw the intro, so you kind of got to cheat a little and see the end result, but it was very necessary. So I go in with a little oil on the scalp, and then I'm taking this Kristen S. blow dry spray, and I apply that. It's a blow dry mist to my hair. And then I'm going to take my Curls Queen Brazilian Virgin Hair Clip-Ins. Okay, I was really surprised at how nice these clip-ins were. I wasn't expecting them to be bad, but the quality shocked me because they were so thick, they were so full, they had a beautiful shine. And I really wanna mention how soft and how good this hair smelled. The hair was so soft, like legit, so soft, like just as soft as my hair. And I be taking care of my hair, honey, okay? But the hair was so soft and it had a beautiful shine and it smelled so good. And then in the bag, you get some extra clips um, and thread, I guess if you wanna sew more clips onto the clipping pieces. Um, I believe you get 10 clip-ins so you have a total of 10 you get two in the 10 inch weft two in the nine inch weft two with the seven inch weft two with four inch wefts and two with three inch wefts so you get 10 pieces overall and it's in the light yakky texture which i'm going to show you guys next but i'm just going to very quickly blow my hair out um Every product and item that I use in this routine and video will be linked down below in the description box for you guys. Um, all of the hair info will be listed as well in the description box with links, so make sure you go check that out. But yeah, honestly, the blowout was giving, honey, okay? So I'm gonna just let you guys watch me very quickly blow out the rest of my head, and then I'll come back when I'm installing my clip-ins. Okay, so I obviously just finished doing one side. Just a comparison of my hair blowing out on one side versus the curly. <laughs> very cute. Okay, very is. So we're back. Full head is blown out. The volume, babes, is giving. It's so cute. Um, but I'm ready to put these clip-ins in and really just take it to the next level. You know, like this is cute, but I want some inches. I want some length. I want to feel hair down my back. You know, I want to be giving volume drama for the girl. So we're about to install these clip-ins, babe. Um, so I'm going to just part my hair in sections. And honestly, I wasn't using a comb to do this. I was using my fingers. My parts weren't crazy straight or perfect um i don't feel like that's necessary i feel like clip-ins as long as you can't see the clips you're good to go you know they're not you can't really like move your part around once you set where the clip-ins are going to be right so the first clip that i went in with had three on it actually no i'm sorry it had four clips and that one i put at the bottom honestly i should have put a clip like right along the nape of my neck under the hair but upside down to hide that first layer 
but this was also my first time installing clip-ins in a very long time. I can't remember the last time I used clip-ins and they were also curly, so it was a very long time ago, but I was so, 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 so pleased with, again, the softness of this hair, these clip-in extensions. The light yaki was the perfect, like literally the perfect texture for my hair blown out. It was giving my hair, like, if it weren't for the fact that my hair was so blunt, <laughs> because I have a blunt bob, literally you would not be able to tell. Like that's how perfect they were. I have, I would say my texture for my hair is like 3B, 3C, um, like all around my head. So I would say it's more 3B towards the bottom of my hair, like my curls are looser towards the back of my head. And then they're a little bit tighter and a bit smaller my curl pack my curl texture and my curl pattern at the front near like my hairline and stuff so right now i'm just installing the clip-ins i'm showing you guys i'm just sectioning it i decided i wanted to do a side part but then i end up switching to a middle part later on because i just like the way it looked better um and honestly it was because again trying to make these blend i feel like I mean, this was the first time that I was installing these clip-ins and, you know, I'm doing this video, this voiceover days later. So I obviously wore them for about a week and I tried them straight and I did it in like different styles and I learned and I got better. Like every time I installed them, I knew where to place it to like really hide my cut, um, my blunt cut. So I definitely think like with practice and obviously wearing them and seeing them on your hair, you're gonna be able to do it better, but I wasn't mad at it. Like, yeah, it looks a little crazy right now, but I'm gonna go in and layer it and stuff. But like, honey, the texture, the color, perfect. Like literally, I had no complaints. And the hair smelled so good. <laughs> I don't know what they washed the hair with or what they put on it, but it just smelled so good. And yeah, I was very pleased. So I'm gonna let you guys just watch me install the rest of these clip-ins. Um, this is not like a super like, detailed tutorial because I'm still trying to learn exactly what to do myself but I feel like I've obviously got it to a certain extent <laughs> Okay, so this is the clip-ins fully installed, all 10 pieces. Because I did a side part, I think I had two clips on one side more than the other. So there was, I don't know the math, <laughs> but there was um, an even amount up until I got to the side part and then I put two on the, girl, I'm not even trying to explain it, but you know what I'm saying. So now I'm just going in with my scissors and I'm adding very light layers at first. I wanted to take it slow. I didn't wanna just go in and start hacking away and then take off too much, obviously. But you can definitely see like the line of separation between my hair and the clip-ins. But also, I will, I do wanna point out that the clip-ins were straight, like they were came straight, and my hair had a little bump and a curl to it from when I blew it out, so. I knew I was already planning on going in and curling this hair with my hair, but I just wanted to make sure that there were some layers in there because my hair is so short and so blunt 
that I needed to make sure that it was going to blend. So this is me going in with my flat iron and I'm just doing some very quick flat iron curls. Um, these were not perfect. They were like meant to be messy and full and voluminous and bouncy. Like I was literally just going for really bouncy, fun curls, like bombshell curls, but on natural hair. Um, and I honestly, I love the way that this was coming out. Like after I layered the one side and then I started going in because I, as soon as I layered it, I was like, okay, I need to see what I just did. So I need to just go in and I need to curl it before I go in and cut the other side because I need to make sure that I did it the way I wanted it to be, you know? And honey, I did, cause look at those curls. The curls are giving. The curls are giving for the girls. They look good, okay? I was loving this. Yes, I was like, oh, this is so cute. Like my hair is really short in the front. Again, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but my hair is hella short. So that little curl in the front, that little side swoop, she was pretty short, a little shorter than I wanted her to be, but I can definitely, definitely, definitely see myself using these in the future. I think, okay, I think I did. I think I did a good job at layering it. I think I did. What do you guys think? Look at the back, what the back looks like. Yeah, so this is the completed hair it's a little frizzy but i kind of like it i mean it's kinky straight hair so i feel like it has to look very natural you know and the texture of the clip-ins actually matches the texture of my hair um straightened like perfectly and the color is literally exactly the same it was just getting them to blend obviously was a little bit hard because i have a natural bob not a natural bob but i have a blend cut bob so that very like straight bob that i usually have like when my hair is straight you guys saw what it looked like before it's hard to get clippings to, to blend with that girl so i cut a lot of the i cut a lot of the clippings to make it blend if you don't have a bob and you're getting clippings and you want to make them blend it'll probably be a lot easier but like i said i recently cut my hair into a bob so my ends were like really blunt and it took a little minute but I go on to blend. This is what they look like. Shout out to Curls Queen for sponsoring today's video and sending me these gorgeous clip-ins. I will be rocking these in the future. I'm gonna try a couple of different hairstyles too with these. Like I'm gonna do a half up, half down. I'm gonna do a ponytail situation. I think it would look really, really cute. It's giving me like bombshell, but natural. Like natural, natural hair bombshell. Like, uh, I feel very voluminous and just super glam and i did my makeup really natural and i think it looks so cute so let me know what you guys think down below don't forget to click that subscribe button and join the fam i love you guys so much thank you so much for 100k thank you guys so much for subscribing and showing love and all the comments i literally read them every single day and i try to write back to as many of you guys as possible don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye